Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In this video, I want to talk to you about using HubDoc to convert your bank statement, your PDF, into a CSV file. I've not done this because I use Money Thumb in Proper Soft, but I do want to test it and I figure if I'm going to test it, we can do it together. I've opened up HubDoc and I've just clicked on Upload Document and then I clicked on this Bank Statement Upload. I'm going to click on Browse and then Browse from a Bank Statement. That's right there. I'll click Open. It's going to take a few minutes. Oh, it says it's uploaded. It's completed. Great. Um, just because it's uploaded doesn't mean that it's actually uploaded and ready to go. This is the document that I've just uploaded. It says updated data available for this document. I've uploaded this three times this morning because I was doing different videos. So you're not going to see this and you're certainly not going to see it appearing three times. But let me just go to this one because this is the one I did maybe 10 minutes ago. And I, I want this one because it has the box on the right that says bank statement extraction. This one doesn't have it. And okay, this one does. Um, oh, doesn't matter which one I pick. I just want the one with bank statement extraction. So it, it says search for your bank. The bank is Bank of America. If you have one of these um, Bank of America credit cards on the face of the credit card, it's going to say Alaska Airlines or Airlines Mileage Plan, but it's issued by Bank of America. So that's what I'm looking for. And then the file format I want is QuickBooks. I'm just going to tell it to generate a CSV for me. All right, so we cut out the part where I was waiting, but it took about a minute. So not awful, but not super fast. Um, this would be one of the reasons that I prefer Money Thumb or Proper Soft, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. And if this works, there's no, no harm in it. It says, we've noticed a problem with the extracted data. Please review before uploading to zero. And um, which is funny because it had me pick the file format I wanted and I didn't pick zero, but I'm like, all right. Um, highlight the extracted transactions. I don't know what that means, but let's highlight. I'm going to go ahead and say download. So it's downloaded it. So this is the file that was downloaded. Um, when I look at this, the first thing that I see, or more specifically don't see, is any payments. Um, let me just search the worksheet. Payment. Yeah, it does not pull in any payments. Um, okay, so the total, the total is 43.11. Let me just compare that total. Um, 43.11 is down here. Let me compare that with what's on the bank statement. I can see from the bank statement that it reflects the total purchases of 4311. It did not pull in my payments of 59540. If I was faced with manually entering this, I would be really, really happy that it pulled in my purchases. I would live with the fact that it didn't pull in my payments. Let me go ahead and pull this into QuickBooks just because I want to kind of finish up the idea. Step one, we've uploaded. Step two, we said, hey, convert this to QuickBooks CSV. And step three, we'll upload it because that's the whole reason we're doing this. So to upload, I'm going to go to my bank transactions. I'm going to upload, select my file, open, continue. Uh, I don't have an account because I keep deleting my nonsense accounts. Um, we have a credit card, save and close, continue. The columns with the amount, so there's one column, the date format, I'm cheating and looking at the other screen to see what it is. Uh, okay, so all of that, this, it says keep original values. I I'm gonna go ahead and try that. Um, so everything looks reasonable. There's nothing, nothing that stands out. I don't know what I'm looking for. I'm going to click on continue 42 things. I don't have to type in by hand. I'm happy about that. If this goes horribly wrong, I can just pull it out and put it back in. So everything uploaded, it has these hilarious and terrible suggestions. 
uh, stuff that I can work on and change and correct. If this had uploaded backwards, if all of this had showed up in the received column instead of the spend column, all I would do is select all, exclude, and then repeat the process. So I would upload from file, drag and drop. Everything is fine. I'm just showing you in case that happens to you. Um, now that I have that account, I don't have to tell it again. And then this, with the dates and the dashes, continue. This right here is the key. If you're, when you upload stuff, if it uploads into the spend column or the receive column and it should be the other direction, you just click on this to say reverse your values. It's um, most of the time I get it right, but not 100% of the time. So it's now my habit to upload and to take a look before I do anything else and make sure it's uploading in the correct columns. The money I spend is in the spend column and the money that is received, or in this case payments received on the credit card or in the received column. So this has come up as a question before in training calls. Um, the red text you see on my screen, that's just a Chrome extension called Write Tool. Um, it's this. So I have the paid version of Write Tool. Um, I don't know why it says Pro Login if I'm not locked in right now, but if you're looking at this and you're wondering why I have red text and you don't, it's just a Chrome extension. I encourage you to take a look at it. Later, as I have time, I'll make videos to kind of explain what it is and what it does and why I like it. But in the meanwhile, I just wanted to show you, here's how you can take a, a statement, use HubDoc to convert it, upload it to your QuickBooks. If you're not currently using HubDoc, you can go to hubdoc.com forward slash pricing. You can get a free 30 day trial. Accountants and bookkeepers have their own pricing. Um, business owners, you pay $12 a month. So it's a pretty good software depending on what you need. All right. Any questions? I'll do my best to answer them. Just leave them down below. If you want one on one help, you're welcome to book with me. Um, if you need somebody to help you with your bookkeeping, you don't want to do it yourself. No problem. Megan and I are happy to help you. Okay. Thanks.